It's a challenge for me to stand here and talk about 20 years of the EDD when formerly I've been responsible for this as an area of work for less than 20 months so far. There's a slight feeling of fraud speaking on behalf of something which is much greater and much richer than my involvement in it. <clears throat> but what I want to do, I'll talk about one of the ways in which it's important to me, one of the ways in which it's particularly important to the role that I now have. So the merger with UCL brought many opportunities and some challenges. And as David said, one of the things that characterises the doctoral world at UCL is that it has a doctoral school. And so did we. And we couldn't have two. So there was a need for reinvention. And I think a really interesting move at that point was the work that Andy told me, Richard Freeman, John Vorhouse, Claudia Lapping did to put together a vision for what became the Centre for Doctoral Education. This new development built on what we had already achieved, um, but gave it an added dimension. So part of its responsibility would be to undertake research to inform the practice of doctoral education. It wasn't merely enough to be offering world-leading programmes. We also had to research them and celebrate that research work as well. So this was the point really at which I became formally involved in this. The thing that really helped me is this is not new. This may be a new configuration of it, a new way of organising it, presenting it. But the agenda, the world-leading programmes, such as the EDD, had existed for decades. So rather lucky to come in with a ready-made sort of body of work that I can point to and say, yes, actually, we've already done that. We're already doing it, and we will continue to do that. So particularly around the EDD, I think there's a really interesting way in which the EDD practices what is preached. It's very strongly about professional values, scholarship, reflection, and you can see that echoed in the way that the team themselves have worked to produce research outputs, scholarly outputs, around the programme, around the design of professional doctorates, the design of EDDs in particular, the impact on participants, the ways in which it's taught, the whole gamut of research around doctoral provision. So, you can see you flashing up behind me, very unfortunate photos <laughs> of me. <laughs> Perfect timing. <coughs> I, I didn't sanction that particular photo, they found that somewhere on a web page. Um, but you'll have seen up there the, some of the outputs that people in this room have produced. So again, I'm not going to try and talk about those on behalf of those people, just to, but, but to point to you know, the fact that there have been books. So, um, where's Andrew gone? Andrew's book with um, Ingrid and David and uh, Lucy, go, I mean, that was over a decade ago, and sort of laying some really important foundations. Still for, sells a couple of copies of it. I'm sure it still does. <laughs> still an important work, carving out a space for research into professional doctorates, laying foundations that other workers then built on. Brian's work, looking into professionalism, these, the books that he's produced, which are now core texts, not just for our modules, but on doctoral programmes around, you know, around the world. These are things which are vital points of reference. Work that's come out of the work that's been done here, which celebrates the things that we've learned, perhaps the hard way sometimes, but uh, consequently can then share so that other people can learn from what we've done. <coughs> we can also look at the impact of the programme. And I think one of the things that always strikes me, when I do the, um, the opening induction on the doctoral programmes, I, I'm there for only a short part of it, and I do a kind of welcome for the students who have just joined us. And the thing that always strikes me is the people in the room will go on to change the world. And I mean, you know, it's, it seems quite glib to say that, but you think about the people who will change their institutions through the research they do, who will change policies up to national levels, who will publish work that then gets drawn on and built on and so on. These people do change the things they're involved in in really significant ways. And it's quite humbling to be in front of a room full of that many people. One of the real assets of the programme is the quality, the calibre of the people it can draw to it. People who will go on to change things in very important and meaningful ways. In terms of this intersectionality, this junction between the professional expertise they have, they bring and they develop, and the academic expertise that we can share with them and help them to develop for themselves, it's really powerful. But there's also the impacts the team themselves have achieved. So, you know, Anne Gold's work, building um, expertise in terms of professional doctorates in places like Pakistan. Again, changing national systems, building capacity, changing lives and systems in a cascading way, 
hugely important, hugely humbling work, really important to, uh, for us to be involved in as the Institute of Education in terms of you know, UCL's missions, global aspirations. This is an example of how those things have played out. This is us helping change the world. But also we do things closer to home. So new initiatives here, things like the PG Dip in uh, social science research methods that Andy told me led the bid for, building on lessons learned through the EDD. So an initiative aiming to widen participation in doctoral provision. We see a lot of talk around widening participation in undergraduate education. There's lots of questions about equity and participation further down the sectors, but at doctoral level it's not often talked about. But having seen a difference in the kind of people who come through the EDD programme and are still able to succeed and produce doctoral level work, the PG DIP then built on that idea by trying to create a new route in which would leave people to doctoral study. And <coughs> coming out of that, the work that people like Sue Taylor have been doing, trying to really think through the pedagogies of working with that kind of group, these kinds of learners, what's special and distinctive, what do we need to know and understand? And you can see a growing body of work coming out of that that mirrors some of these earlier contributions starting to emerge. The other thing which I think is worth drawing attention to, Denise is being very humble and is sort of taking a back seat in terms of a lot of these presentations, but the work that she's starting to do, thinking about, well, again, equity, participation, progression, but also what these students go on to do, trying to build up the evidence base that we can then talk with confidence about the impact the alumni from the EDD programme have had themselves on the world that they're in. So are you, are you going to say something later about the survey? Brilliant. So I won't steal a thunder. She can talk about that. But some really important work on the horizon. So this is not just work that's been done. You can see this is an ongoing trajectory of work. This is us building on established successes towards some really new, really important, really interesting pieces of work to understand this program, the students, and what they go on to achieve. So really, that, this is what I wanted to say. It's really just to point to all of this stuff. This is for me, hugely helpful in terms of, am I leading a centre which is contributing to the research base? Yes. But I can't take credit for that. The people in this room have to take the credit for that. And some of them are going to speak soon. And I shall do my best not to steal their thunder. I'll leave that to them. But I also want to draw, um, I think it would be remiss not to draw attention to the, the professional service staff as well who have enabled this programme to work so successfully over the years. Cathy, big thank you for all your involvement throughout the year. <laughs> <laughs> and also Emma, is she around? Who's been instrumental in getting today to come together so successfully? Thank you. <laughs> and to the whole of the programme team, past and present, thank you very much for making this a truly interesting, distinctive and successful programme. Thank you. <laughs>